now from the theorem I have the radius the same but the end point might be different so I need to check the end point I only need to check the end point check the end point so I want I would like a student to work with me together when x equals 0 what do I got okay when x equals 0 um, Lacey, could you please work with me together? When x equals zero, what I got? Like this. Is x minus one? Okay. So I did that. So just negative one. Okay. So when x equals two. So when x equals two, what happened? We're gonna get uh, one to power n. Okay. So just one. Very good. Right, so for this one, does this converge or diverge, Lacey? For which one? For the first one, does it diverge or converge? This equals what? Negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1. Well, basically it's negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is minus, it's just a minus 1, right? Negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1. We continue. It diverge, okay? You can use the limit n goes to infinity. Right? n is always negative 1, not equal to 0. So diverge, okay? How about this one? Does this one diverge or converge? We look at the limit a n, n goes to infinity a n. So limit a, so it's going to be limit n goes to infinity, negative 1 to power n plus 1. So what do you think this is? It's, uh, yeah, it's going to, the, a, the nth term goes to negative 1 or positive 1, okay? Either negative one or positive one. Well, when you have to say n is odd, no, n is even, right? N is odd. Anyway, whatever, I'm checking it with zero. Neither one of them is zero. It's going to be negative one or positive one, so it's not zero. And then this one diverges as well. What do we have? The convergence radius for the f prime of x is just. 0 to 2. You see the previous one, the convergence radius is 0 to 2, but it contains 2. This one is 0 to 2, not containing any one of the point. Okay, so now let's check the, uh, let's check the, this is the derivative. Now let's check the antiderivative. The antiderivative is m from 0 to infinity. Okay, so I'll go, I'll, I'm going to call a student here 0 to 2 and a diverge. So now I'm going to call another student. Tell me what's the antiderivative of this one. Okay. So for this function, for this function, I just write it again. If fx equals m from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to power m plus 1, m plus 1, times x minus 1 to m, pl m plus 1. I want you to tell me what is the antiderivative of this function. OK. 
Can anyone tell me the antiderivative of this function? Maybe I'm going to call a student, I'll call a student here. Okay. Uh, Travis, could you please tell me what the antiderivative is? Uh, we we'll keep the negative 1 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Okay. And then it will be x minus 1 to the n plus 2 mm -hmm. over n plus 2. Very good, n plus 2. So it's this. I still have, oh, I don't have that anymore because I take the antiderivative. So m from 0 to infinity. I have this is antiderivative. So now, antiderivatives still have the same radius, zero to two, okay, but might have different endpoint convergence. So we check one by one. Check x equals zero. X equals zero. Check the endpoint of x equals zero. Plug zero into this. I'm gonna call another student here. If I x equals zero, what do you get? Okay, I'm going to call a student here. Um, Luke, could you please tell me? You're going to have negative one to the n plus one and negative one to the n plus two, which is always going to come out to just negative one on top. That's then perfect. Over, over n plus 1 times n plus 2, which you can basically use as n squared. Okay, this one diverge or converge? That's going to converge with p-series. Very good. Okay, can you continue with x equals 2? And with x equals 2, you get negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 1 to the n plus 2 which is going to be just 1 the alternating series over n plus 1 times n plus 2 which yes. is also going to converge okay it's also converges this is easy to com to you can put an absolute value because n, n to infinity absolute value converge This one converge, okay. Then the alternating series must converge as well. If it absolutely converge, then a conditional converge, okay. This one converge. You can use alternating series converge. This is converge, okay. It's easy to 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 judge whether this converge or not because you can use p series p n equals p equals two. It converge. So both of them converge. You got the series converge radius zero to two. Thank you very much. Look, very good. Good job. So zero to two is convergence radius. Now you can check these three functions. First is the series itself. The series itself, we, did, we take the ln an over an plus one over an, we got the convergence radius is zero to two, but two is okay. Take the derivative, zero diverged, two diverged, so it's just zero to two. Take the antiderivative of the series, I got zero both, zero and two works. So the convergence radius is zero to two. Okay. You might have some um, practice in your homework. And last homework, I think I got, I give you some of them as well. So let's continue with nine point nine. Uh, representa representation of functions by power series. First, what do we look? We look at geometric series. A geometric series, consider we have given a function fx equals 1 over 1 minus x. 
Okay. Previously, previously we have n from zero to infinity, a times r n. This is a geometric series. Okay. The geometric series converge when it converges to which point at what condition it converges. I'm going to call a student here to tell me. Um, I'm going to call a student here. Nicholas, could you please tell me this geometric series converges to what? Uh, what does this geometric series converge to? Um, uh, can I use a, a over one minus r or something like that? Look, you did a good job. A over one minus r. That's right. So what condition? When Less than one, very good. When r is less than one, we got the um, this power series is converged to a over one minus r. So now, look at this two. You compare this two. Since this is a over one minus r is one over one minus x. So I'm going to ask another student here to help me. I have this is a over one minus r. This is one over one minus x. Can you converge it back to? Back to another power series. Converge this one to a power series. I'm going to call another student here. Jasper, could you please tell me if I write this one back into power series, what it would be? Uh, so it would be power series from n equals 0 to infinity of x to n. Okay, so a is, we can compare a is, well, a is 1, right? Okay. And uh, r is x so 1 minus r 1 minus x r is just the x so is x power n perfect and we also have the x can be anything x it has to be less than 1 so now I successfully changed this function this function into a geometric series so into a power series and from 0 to infinity uh, x power n this is a power series this is a function so now this function is power series from negative 1 to power 1 at center x equals 0 because there's no x minus c. So this is power series at center x equals 0. Very straightforward example, right? Okay, so now we're going to look at another example. Find a power series for fx equals 4 over x plus 2 center at 0 okay so what do we need to do m from 0 to infinity a r n equals a 1 minus r so now my function is fx equals 4 over x plus 2. I need to change this fx, this one, into this one. Basically, I need to make some change. Change this fraction into this form. I need to change this one into this one. Okay? That's what my goal is. Okay? I want to change this one into here. It goes to this one. So what I need to do fx equals 4 over x plus 2. I want it to be a over 1 minus r. So what I can do, 2 plus x. Uh, I'm going to call another student here. See if you can tell me how can I change this one. What's the first thing I need tell me what's the difference between these two. Uh, Joshua, could you please tell me what the difference uh, between these two? Perfect. So, since this is a plus, I change this into minus is not a big deal for me. I can change this into minus a negative x, right? 
that's not a big problem for me. So I think the first step will worry about the the two. You did a very good job. The one this is one, this is the two. So could you please tell me what do you think? How I'm going to change the two into one? Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so basically, you can pull out the two, you can take out the two, and uh, one, you did it really good, like I did it like a very, way far ahead what we are supposed to do. So you, t you can pull out the two, and you can do one minus x, right? But we can do uh, step by step, let's don't confuse other students. So we can divide both the top and the bottom. You pull it out, it's the same idea as you divide the top and the bottom by two at the same time. So we can divide by two by divide two by four by two, divide the bottom two by two, divide the other one x by two. Would that be good, uh, Joshua? Yes. Okay. So if I divide the top and the bottom both by by two, then I got two over one plus x over two. So now, Joshua, could you please tell me what's the difference? Uh, well, you need to change the x over two into subtracting the negative. Yeah, I need a negative. There's a minus here. I need a, there's a plus here. So I need to change the plus into minus. So I got two one minus negative x over two. So now I have a one minus r. I got. A of 1 minus R. A is 2. 1 is 1. R is negative x over 2. So now I can get 4 over x plus 2 as power series n from 0 to infinity. So now, could you please continue help me finish this geometric, the uh, power series, Joshua? Um, it would be 2 multiplied by negative x over 2. Here. Perfect. Good job. So I have the power series, because it's a times r over m, a is 2, you can compare it, 1 is 1, r is, r is negative x over 2, so a r n, a r n, and you got it. So then, I also have to make sure the negative x over 2, which is r, right, r is, is r, r is less than 1, so I also have to make sure this ratio r less than 1. And I solve this, I got x is less than 2 bigger than negative 2. That's not a big problem. Okay, I'll give you some example you work by yourself. Okay. Find a power series for fx equals 1 over x. Center at x equals 1.
so I think if you finish it, you should be fin you should have it done. Finish it. If not, it must have some trouble with something. Okay. So can anyone tell me what you got? What do I continue here? There's a challenge here. If I do x equals zero, it might be much easier. But now I change it to x equals one. So if I say the center at x equals one, the series must be a times a n times x minus one to power n. This means center at x equals one. The center equals one, so x minus one equals zero. For example, if we have a circle x minus one square plus one plus two square equals four, this center is one and negative two. The center is one. You subtract one, x minus one gives you center is one. The radius. This is the radius. Center at negative one, negative two, right? So, the center is x minus one. I need something as x minus one. So. I'm going to call a student here to tell me what do you think, um, Eric, what do you think I need to do here? So it's 1 over 1 minus term x minus 1. So you said 1 minus x minus 1? Yes. But now Okay, so that's kind of okay, but the question is, if you put one minus x minus one, let me simplify, it's one minus x plus one, this is going to be two minus x. You, This is x, this is two minus x. Can I do that? I put an equal sign here. X plus one. Okay, so you said x plus one? But x plus one doesn't fit doesn't uh, fit my request of x minus one. One minus. So anyone, um, you still can continue, Eric. What do you think? If I do one minus, I still have one minus x minus one. And then this cancel out. This is negative x. This is x. I cannot change the original function x. Okay. I would say one, one minus uh, one minus x. A uh, one minus one minus x. Okay. Oh, that's that's uh that's great. You can do that. I can do one minus x. So uh, I will give you give everyone a trick here. Thank you very much, Lacey. That's a very good idea. So I give everyone a trick here. Whenever you see x, I want to do a center. You always want to do first make up the center out. X minus one. This is what I'm. This is what I need. I need this. I need this center. So make it out. After make out this center, I subtract one. So. I don't want to change anything. Once I subtract one, I have to add one in the end. I'm going to fix the next thing. I don't care about anything else, but I fix the center first. So, then you get one plus x minus one. Now my center is okay, it's done. Then I'm going to compare it with a, a, a of one minus r. Next thing, I'm going to fix the negative sign. So one, one minus negative Plus to negative, that's never a problem for us. Just put negative, put another, ne uh, uh, another negative. X minus one. So which is um, one of one minus one minus x. This is what um, they say says. Okay. So you can do from fix the center point and then change the sign. You got a, you got this. Okay. So now I just match it up m from 0 to infinity, a is 1, a, match a and a 1, so it's 1, times, and uh, r, I'm going to call another student here, 
Bella, could you please tell me what I continue to finish this? One minus x to power. N. And what is the condition for this series to be convergent? What is the condition? Yeah. One minus x the ratio less than one. I solve this one. It's going to be for uh, the conversion radius. Okay, so this is how I write the power series. So we're going to down today here, and we're going to continue to more examples on this section. And uh, then that's all for today. Thank you very much.